doing an experiment, the biologist goes and does the, you know, the experiment on uh, single cells. And on a contrary, right now we have massive amounts of data and now we need to think about what's the hypothesis from a data perspective. And you and I, you know, we had a discussion about methodologies. Uh, it sounds like we're now trying to bring together a lot of data sources, multimodal data sources, and um, trying to understand the biological system, which is extremely hard. So how do we do that? How do we build, you know, different capabilities? And we talked about maybe taking software development methodologies into the compile team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. So uh, I've been thinking about that problem a lot. How do you build a team that can, within uh, a few months, tackle a very big problem? That's like, what's the disease uh, mechanism uh, of uh, psoriasis or arthritis or something like that, just from data. Um, and, I, and I realized that we need not only to figure out what kind of skill set to put in such a team so that they're able to execute it, but we also need methodologies and as you said, we're uh, in our field in the transition from a single person running a project to a team. Um, and actually, and software development went through exactly through this process. If we're thinking back to the 1980s, where a single person was able to write an operating system, of course, today it's uh, inconceivable that one person will write an operating system. But that, that field actually generated not only um, many different roles on a team, but also development methodologies, right? So in terms of roles, we have a front end, a back end, uh, we have the designers, we have uh, architects, so we have uh, many different types of people. And in terms of methodologies, you know, Agile or what Spotify came up with, the squads, there are many different methodologies of how to work uh, and sprints and, and all these uh, methodologies that were invented. And of course, that field became very successful. So I think in the analytical world, we're also at the position, probably in the first transition into a team. And that's what we experimented with. Um, I at least experimented with in the last few years to see what could work for us. Yeah, you know, it sounds like almost inevitable, like the the amounts of data, the complexity and the, the different types of skills. It sounds like you need more skills on the Combio team than you know, the traditional software development 